What's up? I don't know what's in here. I don't know who shipped it. It says it weighs 12 pounds. It's from UPS. Let's. <laughs> I love when people do this. I've done this before too. Using a priority mailbox, <laughs> but covering that it's priority mail because you're only supposed to use them for priority mail. Interesting. I, d I don't know who sent me with this. With the series. This is gonna. This is a surprise. I might not even upload it if this isn't fidgets or metal or something. I don't know why any fidgets would weigh this much. I don't know what this is. Holy moly. What? What is it? What is all this? Oh, I know what all this is. I just never got tracking. Holy guys. Okay. So Eric Brief on Facebook, he just had a kid. And oh my gosh. Okay. Let me clean the desk off. I did not realize this was, I did not realize this was this. Guys, I'm about to get to try out a lot of stuff I've never got to try. And then this stuff is going to all be for sale. Eric is just really wanting a couple spinners and is selling. What, what's this? got a address on it so I'm not showing it uh, this is like all the COAs and stuff I think this was just wrapped up in my graph it's a cool way to protect things I like that <laughs> one of my own tops in here okay okay hang on got a glad I don't have my box out here notice I don't have my box what a what a big moment here. Okay. So this is gonna be all the COAs. Get all those over to the side. Let's just start digging in here. This is wow. Let me put all this. I mean this is this is some heavy stuff. He had a lot of tungsten. And I, I think I even lost track of my sentence. Um I saw that he had a lot of stuff and he was putting it up for trade and was wanting to sell some things and didn't know what to sell things for and yada yada keep going i would i just i messaged him I was like hey man would would you like to send everything to me so i can do a video with them and then i will do the sales for you on facebook like i'm a i guess a trusted person in the in the community and i don't mind you know like brokering the deals um I'm not really asking for any kind of payment here or any kind of compensation except for I get to check out all this stuff okay let me let me think here I'm gonna get all these ones with that are wrapped up in toilet paper opened first so we can reclean the surface Cause that's what that's the one reason I was so chaotic there for a second I didn't know what to do with the dust of the toilet paper and the only thing I can do is let it be here I totally get protecting the things with what you have but dusty materials are not ideal not hating or anything just informing the viewers um, if you're going to ship stuff use plastics and papers and like, you know, hard, hard papers, not fibrous things. So, uh, he sent me a list, I'm pretty sure, of everything, but there's, there's no way I can memorize. Let me put this nest out of the way. No way I can memorize all this stuff. Man, I'm gonna have a big mess to clean up later. Okay. There's a cocoon. I think I'm gonna blast everything with a little air away from the desk and then put them on my tray up here. Yeah. Looks like a pose spinner. It's one of the ring spinners, I think. It's got a really big bearing in it. All right, make some room. Another kind 
kind of button. Looks like this would maybe fit the pose spinner, one of the big, big bearings. Maybe I should like open this. Huh. Something I've never got to try before. This is a Clover from Kinetic Asia Pacific. This feels like it might be stainless steel. I don't think it's, it's definitely not tungsten. It's not heavy enough to have that big of a, be that big of a piece. I don't think it would be titanium. Got a Magnus sandwich, a little two click sandwich. Goodness, the dust. These are some, these look like tungsten buttons for the two EDC triangle V1, I think. Feels like some more buttons. These look like big nest buttons. Yeah, gotta be big nest buttons. We'll get to the fidget soon. Some more tungsten buttons. I really don't even know what those will go to. Man, happy Saturday. These look like tungsten collision buttons. These go to the nest here. Almost done with all the toilet paper. Got a tungsten stubby. It's gonna be a, another new one for me. Very gravelly bearing. I have to give that guy a little clean up. That's probably something I'll end up doing on all of these too before I help him sell. There's the big nest. NJT buttons on it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna, you know, I'll go through all the bearings and everything because since I'm gonna be helping him sell this stuff, you know, I guess my reputation is also kind of on the line. That's a big, what's well, a Cocoon, Cocoon XL and stainless, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make sure everything that gets moved is good. Stainless steel. I think these are like a, it's like a FTO Guardian or something. I know it's Full Throttle Originals, but I forget what the name of this spinner is. That's pretty cool. This guy's heavy. This feels like a, a Horizon. Yep. Tungsten blackened polished Mega Horizon. God, these things are just so hard to spin they're massive okay that's all the toilet paper i think Got another can a little higher pressure okay cool No idea what that is. Let's finish opening all this plastic wrap. Unboxing one of my own products. That's, <laughs> that's just fun. Be careful with this guy. Actually, try not to even use a knife. Another two EDC. Looks like we got all the packaging and everything. Oh, more toilet paper. I'm gonna move this one off to the side since I just cleaned everything. Another slip. This one appears to be... Ooh, the Poe. Another thing I've never tried before. Poe's pretty good. Feels very similar to the, um, the Nest just for me personally. Not a bad thing, just the first impression right there. Uh, I don't wanna cut into this one either because these are cardboard boxes. What kind of torque bar do we got here? 
Torque Bar, Luna Hybrid, uh, Mallory 3000, Be Blasted Tumble. Oh, or toilet paper. Yep, this is definitely a Luna, Luna Hybrid in Tungsten. Neat. I guess I, have, I gotta take it out of the package. Pretty cool spinner. If that was a full size, I'd be be eyeing it for me. Oh, copper form piece. For some reason I was thinking I was getting mostly spinners, but I guess not since I got a Magnus sandwich up there too. Some Nils buttons. Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna leave those in there for now. This is a cool little uh like doodad for packaging. Compaform. Oh, I've never got to try one of these, I don't think. That's yeah, okay. It's not too loud. That was something I was actually worried about with this thing. But, yeah, I don't know. That doesn't tickle my fancy or anything. Oh, that fit like that? Okay. Kind of cool, I suppose. Uh, that's a nice piece. I don't want to keep it out. Got that. Been through that. Been through this. M3 Creations. Whoa. I never held one of these before either. Buttons are loose. Very polished. Need to get some of this toilet paper dust off my hands. Sorry, I keep rambling about that. I've got sensory sensitivities, you could say. Visual, respiratory, tactile, can smell it too. Huh, this is a pretty cool spinner. It's actually very comfortable. You know, you get a, I mean, it's rounded everywhere. It's asymmetric, sort of, you know, from one side. Very unique. What we got in here, this feel like they're empty maybe. Just some buttons. It's also probably some buttons. Ooh, these are pretty. Eric, I might have to hit you up about these. 3S, 24, 24 mil. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna keep those out for now. I'm gonna have to try these on something. Oh. Oh, there's a problem. The set screw is bottomed out in there. Okay, got a little project there. Maybe a, hmm, okay, okay. I want those. That's why I'm reacting that way. Put that package over here. Slider W. Oh, wow. Oh, what the? Uh, just exploded on me. I'm scared. It just, it just came unglued. Magnets are flip-flopped. Um, um, what do I do here? We're going to do this. We're gonna try to, okay. I'm just gonna try to get this back together, not exposed and get it back in. God, these are fucking strong magnets. Um, 
back in the case. I can't even get him to stay stuck. To Golly. These are the strongest magnets I have ever handled in a fidget. These are dangerous. Dangerously strong. Oh my god. I, I don't know. They're so ridiculously strong, they just jump back together. Like, I can't. Okay. I'm just gonna shut up and focus for a second. Oh my god, I can't, I can't get them. <laughs> my hand is exhausted. Holy crap. Okay. Keeping it down. It's going to be this last one, breaking it off and not having anything to hold on to. Maybe if I like do that and then <laughs> there's no way to convey this on camera in fucking insane okay well this is a interesting it's together now I don't know what to do about it it's really heavy Oh, glue plates. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> yes, glue plates. I guess I saw this when I opened it. Did anyone else see this other side? Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's open this. This is something else from... Actually, this isn't another one. Oh, okay. These ones are together. Oh. Holy shit. Holy, what the fuck? It's so heavy, it just pulls itself together with... Oh, what the... Uh, I, it's... Uh, my hand is so tired from trying to get those magnets in. Holy crap, okay. Um, put that to the side, let's... Now, 20 minutes later, look at all this this stuff, right? Got these buttons over here. So these go to that. I, didn't, I don't think I missed anything, right? Oop. Tungsten slider, tungsten slider, some other buttons. So we got random tungsten buttons to Spinners that are not here. Yeah. There's a compaform thing. The nils buttons. Oh. One of my tops. Number 1470. <laughs> Some stickers still. Neat. Still in perfect shape. I have a lens. I don't know if I have a lens out here, actually. Made this over a year ago. Man, it doesn't feel like that. Okay, we got the Poe card. And what else we got here? I feel like there's only... Okay, yeah. Poe, Big Nest. This has got to be the other smaller nest. Yep. Oh, first run from 20. That's kind of cool. It's like an OG nest right here. I just traded my nest away today, actually. Big nest. 
definitely got some bearing cleaning to do. I don't even know what bearing that is. This finish is interesting. This is that etched and flamed Zerky tie from NJT. Some little copper shims on this one. Just on that one. I wonder if it fell out somewhere. I don't think so. Nope. Okay, well, think about this M3 thing. Use the side. This goes with one of the two EDC things. Let's put it with the big nest, right? 21, 23, maybe with the Poe, actually. We'll put it with the Poe. That's the newest one of the, the bunch. So what do, what do I do with all this stuff? What do I, what kind of content do I make? Um, let's mess with some of these spinners real quick. Got the sleeves up. Close up Bob. So let's look at this guy. Ah, so it's got like a, I heard what these were called at one point. It's just like an adapter to make it R188, basically, for the Pose big center ones. It's a cool look on these buttons. Very lightweight spinner, very small, very fast. Probably be pretty cool with this. And there with like some O-rings, the tungsten stubby. Kind of bearing we got in here. Yep, full ceramic, dark matter. It's tungsten. Give it a little blast of some air. Let's see if that'll help it out some. Give it back a little more speed. Bearing was pretty gravelly feeling. Still pretty gravelly. That one will definitely need a bearing swap. Onto, hang on, let's stay a little more in order here. Cocoon XL, and I think this is stainless. I don't think it's titanium. It's got a cooler appearance. Give this guy a little blast, blast of air too. It's better when you put the little straw on. Well, some bearings are just so dirty you can't even get them to spin with <laughs> compressed air. Not a bad thing. All this is going to be gone through before they head out. You know, he just had a kid. He's had. A, he's been busy. No time for fidgets. Fidgets do take some maintenance. Man, this thing is pretty cool. Very well balanced, very comfy. What kind of butt or what kind of bearing we got in here? It's a ceramic hybrid with the white ceramic balls and what is that? I um I'm blanking on the type of retainer that is. it out a little bit there it's not a crown it's a oh, ribbon cage ribbon retainer there we go maybe that helped it out a lot still a little slow on the bearing but it rips it's a pretty cool little spinner i like that the clover is um man it's super comfy the buttons are ergonomic but it's um I don't know. I like bars and tries. Because, you know, once you get above a try, they all start to feel the same. That's just kind of my thinking. So the tries are just neater. This is one I've always wanted to try. The, the Poe from 2EDC. 
smaller tungsten spinner. It's definitely a little smaller than the Nest lengthwise. Let's see if we can, if I can translate. You can see I've got them held up center on the button so you can see on the weights over here. It's a little shorter, a little wider, more mass removed from the center. Not bad. If I had my preference though, I think I do like the Nest more than the Poe for whatever reason, based on just general feel. Kind of oddball out, but pretty surprising. Good finish. This is a pretty good little spinner. I really like the buttons, they're comfy, good dishing. Yep, yeah, just being a hybrid. It's got the standard buttons like that. Pretty cool. Yeah, this thing is, this is a beast. Now that my hand is a little less tired, let's move all this to not kill everything. Does it ladder? It ladders. It doesn't ladder, okay. This is, uh, maybe it's just not what I wanted it to be. You know, I've seen these posted in the last year or so, long progress. It's very heavy and it's, it's something, but it doesn't function like a standard slider. There's definitely magnet interference going on and they're just wanting to um, do that, suck together. Man, that thing is just a, that is a tank. It is really, really heavy. I'm actually, I need to weigh it real quick. Let me put it on, uh, those magnets are so strong. I'm gonna need some, something not metal and I need spacing. Get it away from the thing. Gonna let it tear out. go 414 wow definitely one of the heavier fidgets probably the heaviest fidget i've ever handled it's so weird how it <laughs> okay well i guess that will be that i'm gonna try to get the set screw out of the superconductor button but I'm not going to do that on camera. So um, thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for some of this stuff. If you're super interested um, as a viewer and want some of these, send me an email. Um, I'll, I'll respond. I'll get with Eric. We'll get you a price. Um, it might not be right away, but we'll figure it out. Um, my email is dynamic inertia tops, just like the channel, but no spaces, of course, with tops, T-O-P-S, because tops. DIT. Um, yeah, at gmail.com. Dynamic inertia tops at gmail.com. Just hit me up. I'd love to send some of these to some viewers. It'd be cool to release them beyond just the Facebook community. So, yeah, again, thanks for watching. See ya.